Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Tim Dale Show number eight. And uh, to finish off the year, we thought it would be a great idea to talk with our head of schools, Mr. Mike Potter. Um, Mike has just recently, in the last couple of months, become the longest serving principal here at Tyndale. So congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I'm a I know the school has changed a lot in your time here. Um, tell us a bit about that and, and maybe what has been some of your greatest joys in, in your time here as principal. Firstly, I can't quite believe um, I've been here for 17 and a half years. When I first came, uh, coming back from Kenya, I suddenly had 80 staff and 800 students and hadn't been a principal before. I knew I'd been called to the job, uh, the way the door opened, and I was incredibly passionate about it. I probably didn't have much in my head about what I wanted to accomplish or where I wanted to see the school go, but uh, it's certainly been a fantastic journey. I spoke to the Year 12s last week about dreams are great, but sometimes we can be looking to the horizon that we forget to see the the waves breaking on the shore and some of the greatest things I think that have happened over the last 17 and a half years have taken us by surprise. Mm. God has opened up something that we had no idea, we had no expectation about. And other things I think have been birthed out of both my own heartbeat but also the heartbeat of the team, uh, my executive team, that they've, they've occurred because we have had a, a deliberate commitment to, to particular certainty about what would be God's heartbeat. One of the greatest joys has been the uh, the surprises that have been around the corner. So you mentioned specific joys. Tell us a bit about some of those that maybe have taken you by surprise or some that are the real standouts. When I first introduced the term well, probably 15 years ago, everybody looked a bit odd about it. And that was the concept of being a Tyndalian. And uh, while there was a very strong sense of community here when I took over, and I, I certainly do want to pay respects to Roy Magor and the team that he had before me, because I did, did get to take over a school of 800 with a flourishing building program and a really strong sense of community. You don't get to take over a school like that without there being significant successes that have been built in beforehand. I think that over the last 17 years, and particularly the last 15 after we came up with the term, to, to be a Tyndalian. I love when you speak with old scholars, when you speak with parents. We had our carol service last night and people are hashtagging forever Tyndalian. I think that this, this sense of community, this sense of belonging, this sense of that this is a place that people really feel that they're part of the family, I think that is incredibly satisfying. I have lots of old scholars you know, contacting me you know, through social media or bumping into them and they do see themselves as Tyndalians. They see that this was a, a place where they didn't just attend school, they didn't just get an education, but they were very much part of, of a place where they were loved, where they were valued, where they felt like they were home. That's an incredible satisfaction that, that many uh, young people and their families uh, see, saw this as a place where they, they were part of something bigger than themselves. I also recognise that for, for some of the students we've had here, that uh, because of their own circumstances, that this has been their safe place, this has been uh, the only place where sometimes they really felt at home. People far smarter than me have always talked about the fact that people need safe havens in their lives. And for us to have been a safe haven for a number of kids, uh, but also, those whose families have been fine, but they've gone through really tough times, difficult moments, <coughs> loss of family members. Just walking the journey of life would sometimes deal with you some, some tough cards. Uh, for them to be able to know that they could come here and that they would be uh, loved, uh, surrounded, uh, cared for. The heartbeat out of that is our memorial garden. You know, when we've lost students or staff here, uh, we've been able to to come together, to mourn together, to, to care for each other, but also to remember together. So I think the Tyndalian concept has been a great joy for me. And, and to hear people you know, seeing now, whether it's a Heath Dale Exchange or something else, I am, you are, we are Tyndalians, and they, they've embraced that. That's, that's tremendously exciting for me. Yeah.